As some of you might know, my mum recently came to visit me in Canada from Australia and with her, she bought some beautiful pieces from some of my favorite Australian brands. Um, I know you can order these pieces online, but she wanted to give me some, my family wanted to give me some, Nick's family wanted to give me some. So very, very spoiled, very, very lucky, but I'm obsessed with these pieces. They're so beautiful. And I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. So here we go. Starting off simple but strong, she brought this beautiful black cashmere sweater. Um, this one is from Uniqlo and I am obsessed. It is such a beautiful texture. I haven't had any cashmere before, so I feel like this is a very grown up piece to have. A staple, a classic, um, it's from Uniqlo. So, like I said, not necessarily Australian, but she bought it in Australia. It's from Australia, it's from home. I will think of home when I wear it. So I think that's the logic behind it, but it's a beautiful fit going into the colder months here in Canada. Chef's kiss. The angel that my mother is, she also got me the same cashmere sweater in white. Um, I, again, a basic, a staple, and going into the cooler months is gonna serve me well, but I love neutrals, I love a pop of color, so having really good basics, really good neutrals, serves me so well to add like a nice big pop of color, but I just am obsessed with this material. Like I said, it feels very grown up. It's giving big girl, very demure. Next up we have the Kukai Oyster Pants. I have been obsessed with these pants since high school. I remember my best friend in high school had a pair of these pants. She let me wear them. Every time she wore them, she looked great. I am obsessed with these pants. They are just such a classic like staple that you'll just have in your wardrobe forever and ever. I love the length, I love the fit. Um, I honestly, I think these pants are maybe 200 and something dollars, and Australian that is, and I wanted them for such a long time, but in high school I couldn't justify spending $200 on pants, but now I don't have a pair of good white pants in my wardrobe, and you know the amount of times I've reached for a pair, and I am like, I don't have any, so I'm super excited to finally, after years, have a pair of these in my wardrobe, they're a beautiful, beautiful pant. Um, really easy to dress up um, and I'm totally obsessed with them. You guys are not ready for this, so just prepare yourselves. Are we kidding? She is everything. This is a Blanca jacket. I saw her first on Hannah Del Sasso, uh, I wanna say maybe in March or April, uh, a while ago. And I saw her and I was like, oh, that is stunning. You guys know I love green. And I was very, very fortunate that my brothers, their girlfriends, and my parents banded together and got this one for me as a little early birthday present. My birthday is September, it's not this, next month. It's next month. But while mum was up, she was, was like, I'll give you your early birthday present. This was the last, last one they had. I don't think they'll be restocking. They might be, but in Australia, they are going to summer, so we don't see that happening. Um, so I'm very sorry to break all of your hearts because I know everyone is going to be obsessed with this jacket. I know I am. The colour, the fit, it is. The sizing was a bit weird. It was like extra small, small, and then medium, large. That was, that's how they do their sizing. Um, I would have got the medium, large anyway, but that it was also the only one they had left. Um, it's meant to be a boxier cut, so that makes sense. Um, but I just, I have no words. I have no words. I'm excited to layer her in winter in all of her glory. And she's just going to be with me forever. This girl is a stayer. She's staying. She found her place and she should just move in at this point. I think she has moved in. If I'm honest, if I'm honest I think she's taken over. I'm just <gasps> exquisite. Lastly, but in no way last is probably the two pieces that are competitive for my favorite spot with my Blanca jacket. This beautiful, amazing, stunning, navy Kukai trench set. Um, there's a trench and the skirt underneath, which I will show you. But I saw this one in 
made and I was it was to die for it was exquisite it was beautiful um, it was expensive I I was just obsessed with it though it's like a really beautiful take on the classic trench but with the navy is not something that is super popular but I love blue I love the fit of this jacket and honestly the material and the way it's made I would argue that it's probably a better product than the Blanca jacket just in how high quality it feels she is a staple I love everything about her um, and she will be making Canadian winter entrance with me this year. And then this is the matching mini skirt. She's low rise. She looks shorter, but she's not too short. Like with a, the trench, I think it makes it more modest. For me personally, I'm more comfortable with that. I also would probably wear it with some sheer stockings, but again, made of this exact same material as the jacket. Um, and she is just stunning. I am simply obsessed with her. I I don't know what to say. Cook Eye. Honestly, Cook Eye I feel like has been on the up and up. I'm just, this is just beautiful. I'm obsessed. I also absolutely need to mention that this set was a gift from Nicholas's parents. I am so, so grateful that my family and Nicholas's family feel the need to spoil us so much. Um, we love them so much. And without further ado, I have to go bring that one out. It's okay. So I hope you guys love the video. Let me know what you think what your favourite pieces are. And I can't wait to style these pieces into fall and winter.